Hello there. This is a video on NPC's pickup loot, actually, and this is actually the reason I got started on uh, the whole juggling thing. And this is not about juggling, but um, this is just about uh, picking up loot and how to make some interesting mechanisms with NPCs, maybe like traders and things. You could come up with more complex ones than this, but this is just kind of showing what can be done. This guy has the can pick up loot tag set to 1. You can also do this with a command block with the entity data command or in scripting like that in, in the initialization. So you saw that it probably if you watched the uh, juggling, how to do juggling uh, video. So this NPC over here though she says, uh, I trade wool, magenta, and yellow. Uh, so, if I give her a magenta wool, she will give me some coins. If I, if I give her multiple ones, she still will only give me one coin. So, she doesn't really count them. Uh, if I give her yellow, she will give me a... Uh, she gives me torches for that. Let me rearrange some stuff here for you can see that oops <laughs> so and uh, if I give her a block that she doesn't recognize then she will drop it five times and if it's if uh, I give her a block or a couple blocks and she doesn't take that them then she destroys them <laughs> okay so they're disappeared so um, that's one way to make a, kind of a quick trader somebody who can interact with certain items and things like that this guy here I kind of progressed to he is basically a walking chest okay so I can uh, just take things out of his inventory or I can give him things and he will hold them like that. So I can just drop things and he can pick them up. And he doesn't stack the items necessarily. Uh, you could make that happen, but that's a whole other thing. So this guy also is, is kind of um, a little more sophisticated in, uh, in the fact that he charges for things. So if I took this wool here, he would charge me two and then it would be gone. That's all he would have. I could take this redstone, he charges me. Um, I could give him items and he does keep track of these stacks and he's just set to um, put a cost on it of whatever the number of items in the stack. So one oak plank is one silver, seven oak planks is seven silver. So uh, you could make it more sophisticated, you could have the items, uh, of course, cost different uh, amounts or different kinds of coins or something like that, but this is just a kind of a simple work in progress type of uh, showing what you can do with these things. So one more thing with this guy and then I'll be done is that if you overload him, he will drop it and set it behind the wall and set a glow texture to it as you saw and uh, what that does is uh, in Minecraft if you set an item behind a wall in a solid block it will keep going up until uh, I'm locked up there we go okay it will keep going up until it finds an open space and that open space is right here at the hopper and so here is the torch and the uh, oak blocks right there. So that's how that works. That's the uh, whole start of the juggling thing that I started and uh, so think about what you can do with this and um, thanks for watching. Bye.